Hi, my name is Mathul Ashokumar. I am in seventh grade. Today, our topic is rational and irrational numbers. First of all, what is a rational and irrational number? A rational number is a number that can be expressed as a simple fraction. You can think of the term ratio in rational. Irrational numbers are the opposite. They cannot be expressed as a simple fraction. You can also think of that. Hippasus, a Greek mathematician, was the person who found irrational numbers. Why do we use irrational numbers? We can use them in circumference. Now, I'm going to list some examples of rational and irrational numbers. What are some examples of rational numbers? They can be integers, whole numbers, simple fractions, and simple decimals. I'll give you some examples. They include some whole numbers like 1, 2, and 3. Because they can be written as 1 over 1, 2 over 1, and 3 over 1. You can also write, you can also have negative numbers as a rational number. Negative 4 can be written as negative 4 over 1. But what about fractions? Fractions are also a rational number. 9 over 2 equals 4.5. These are rational numbers. But what can we do with irrational numbers? Some examples of irrational numbers include pi, because it equals 3.14159, and so on. It's never ending, forever. It will keep on going forever. Some mathematicians say pi equals 22 over 7, but it's not exactly accurate. Some square roots can also be an example of an irrational number. Square root of 2 equals 1.41, etc. Continues on forever and ever. Square root of 5 equals 2.236, and so on. And there are multiple, multiple square roots that can be irrational numbers. You can also express the square root of 4 as a rational number because the square root of 4 is 2. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. If you find this video was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, comment, and share this video.